I just got back from a job interview and I'm pretty sure I think I got the job because I said we'll see you at our strategic meeting. It's a part-time job, also an admin role. I'll be working for the Utah Asian Chamber of Commerce, which is super exciting. Just more community work to add onto my plate. I do it because I love the Asian American community here. I'm going to quickly touch up. Also this lip gloss I have been loving. This is Glosses by Charlene. This is in the shade Angel. It is such a pretty pink. I'm not really into pink shades. but I really like this color. And also, this girl is only 16 years old. If I remember correctly, she started her business when she was 14. That's insane. So I will link this down below and her website. Go support her business. This is Rose's present that I need to add some finishing touches. Let's see when she'll get here. She's going to meet me here and then we're going to carpool because it's probably going to be crazy busy since it is the Friday before Christmas. Do you want to be adult? Sure. Okay. I sure. feel like you're more of a YA reader. I don't know if Okay, YA it is. Okay, what's the last one? Fantasy or, or romance. romance. Okay. Uh, Wait, who's doing <laughs> Your fantasy or romance? <laughs> <laughs> I was way too excited to properly film a unboxing, but here it is. I am just so excited and I'm so thankful. Thank you to Saffron Road for sending me these products. I was actually pretty emotional when I opened it. I know a lot of people, especially nowadays, they do YouTube, social media for money. It is definitely a great side hustle and if you're lucky, a great full-time job. But I didn't start my YouTube channel with the intention of making money. I started making YouTube videos because I was really not in a good place. I just moved to Utah. I didn't know anyone. I was in bad terms with my family as well. And I also had no friends, no one to really talk to. And so I started making makeup videos. I would film on my iPad and I would talk while doing my makeup as if I had someone to talk to. And it became this form of escapism for me. I was able to have this creative outlet 
and a way to distract myself from what was really going on in my life at that time. And then when I started college, I started to vlog my college experience. I started doing that because when I got accepted to the U, the first thing I looked at on YouTube was U of U college vlog and there wasn't any college vlogs or anyone for me to see what life was going to be like on campus, what day-to-day -day life is as a student, anyone who I could relate to, especially as a first-generation Asian American student. That was kind of a scary and nerve-wracking time because no one told me what college is going to be like. My mom went to college that was in the Philippines. Yes, you are still considered a first-gen student if your parents went to college in your motherland country and I thought maybe I could be that person for future students and it made me really happy that I was able to help a few students out or if they found out about certain student orgs because of my videos. And I also started my study gram around the same time because I wanted to have multiple avenues to share and document my experience. I never had the intention to make money off of it. It was first a way of escapism, became a wonderful hobby, and then a platform to help people out. I did have the opportunity to monetize my channel at one point. I had the chance to monetize my videos and I didn't. My community here was so small, I didn't want to turn them away by having them watch through an ad. I've been doing this for almost seven years and not once have I made money off of it. If there are ads on my videos, that is not me. That's because YouTube placed them there. I know a lot of people start getting monetized, making money off social media within two years and I've been doing this for almost seven and this is my very first PR package. <laughs> I'm very honored that Saffron Road picked me to showcase their products and thank you again to Saffron Road for sending me these. I'm so excited to try them out. Let's take one more look at the box. Do you want to go first? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry for the ugly ass wrapping. <laughs> That's totally fine. <gasps> Thank you. you I love this them. color. I know. I saw it. I was like, this is Shai's color. It's so cute. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> <sighs> I was actually just going to buy more. <laughs> really? <laughs> It's oil free too. So yeah, I know. You. Our oily skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your gift smells good. Um. <laughs> ah, Betty! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cute. A little book journal. It combines two of the things that you like. Okay. Reading and bullet journaling. <laughs> I love it. So like when you, you can have a list of books that you've read. There's also like books to cross off. Oh, that's like classics. cute. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And this. then like, just to keep track of everything. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Thank you. Yeah. <gasps> Girl. <laughs> but also it's a dupe, I'm so sorry. No, I love dupe. I thought you bought it. And no, then you told me you didn't I buy didn't it. Buy it. And I was like, well, the, the ship has sailed. Ah, the Speak Now cardigan. Guys, I'm a Speak Now girly. I really <laughs> wanted to buy you the real one, but I thought you bought it. No, you're good. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's also this a different shade so of purple. Cute. I'm so sorry. <laughs>